Hey guys, welcome to our playthrough of Tang Garden. I'm Bob. I'm Chloe. And uh, we've played Tang a whole bunch of times now. Is that a weird thing to say, playing Tang? I don't know, we might not be that good at it. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, well, um, so we're gonna play a two-player game here. Um, and the idea is that you know how to, the game works. I'll give some explanation left and right whenever I can, but we're just gonna play. Um, because it's the COVID-19 time and we don't have anything better to do really. So here we go. Um, so we like to start with um, taking two cards each and picking the character we want because we've played it a bunch of times already. So she takes those two, I'll take these two and then we just pick one, which is a little more fun than just picking a random one. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with the Empress. I'm going with the student. Awesome. Yeah. So maybe explain your ability real quick. Okay. So the student gets uh, one coin every time he advances at least one spot on the green tracker. Um, and then if he gets on the board, the site preference is that for every green garden tile, he gets two coins up to 10 coins. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, I think they call it greenery in um, the rule book in case anybody is paying attention to that. Um, so yeah, um, I've got the Empress. Uh, the Empress picks up some coin whenever uh, she puts down flowers and she can't see the lady or um, the Emperor in a direct line of sight at the end of the game if she wants to keep all her points. Anyway, we're not gonna do a full explanation but just quick reminders, um, don't harm. I guess so. Um, we all, we both get to put one of our um, cubes forward in our trackers as well. Um, so yeah, let's see who gets to start. You get to flip it. I'll, um, I'll take the moon tree. Okay. Moon tree. Moon tree goes first. All right. All right. So on your turn, you get to either pick decorations or you get to pick one of the face up garden tiles. Um, I typically like to start with a garden tile, honestly, because I think that's the best play to make most of the time. Um, uh, yeah, I think a green one would probably be all right. I don't know. Here we go. So for connecting this, it's kind of like Carcassonne, I guess. I get one green, so that gives me one connection. And um, I have nothing else to do, so now it's Chloe's turn. Okay, I'm going to do decoration. So because there's one face down, she gets to pick three cards instead of two, and she picks one of them. So I'm doing the apricot. She got the apricot, that's great. Finally. The apricot's a pretty powerful wild card, it's an add-on too. Um, so yeah, whenever somebody gets decorations, we flip these face up, and ooh, that's kind of neat. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pick that guy, and I'm gonna go after a landscape token. So I'm gonna pick this one up. Um, I get one coin um, for connecting pathways. Coins are pretty much victory points. I'm gonna put this here. And um, I also get one greenery because this counts as an enclosed greenery. So that moves it up and I can get blue and yellow here. I get to pick another character and put one on the board. Um, landscape token. Uh, it's a small landscape token, so I get to pick either this one or that one. The sword dancer is in there, and the sword dancer likes. It's a bit of a gambit, but it looks like I'm kind of in the lead on that since you picked the decoration. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make things interesting. So we got two waterfalls on this side, which the sword dancer would profit from. And then it's Chloe's turn. <clears throat> All right, so that gives you one yeah. water advancement. Um, and I'm gonna take decorations. So there's two face down now, so I get to pick four and choose one. And I'm going to choose the swan, which is also a wild card. Um, so yeah. Um, and yeah, I can place a swan. So where are the swan? I like, I like swim the plural of swan or something. <laughs> yeah, wanna flip? Um, yeah, sorry about that. There you go. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll get there. Kind of 
So All right. Two, so she connects one green and she enclosed the green. So that's two green and advancement. And she picks up the coin because the student gives you a coin whenever you put something green down. So pretty good play for her. Um, let's see if I can do something cool. Yes, I can. So I'm going to put a rock tile here, which gives me one yellow for the rock connection, but also another yellow for the enclosure. And that's Chloe's turn. Oh yeah. Oh man, we're going hard. Two coin and one water. Two waters. Oh yeah, two waters and two coin. Counting up plate there. I need to stop talking. <laughs> yeah. So whenever there's only one face of tile, you flip the other ones. All right. No. I really hope I'm not doing something stupid here, but I'm gonna connect some greens. So that gives me two on that one. Mm -hmm. And a landscape token, a small one. All right, so I got to pick between these two. Um, the architect's not really out yet. Um, place yeah why not let's just make things interesting so we got two I don't know if it's villages or something but two things that the architect likes on this side of the board mm -hmm. coin. Mm -hmm. decorations Two, three, four. We try to flip them before we actually look. Damn. Well, it's not too bad, but but I can't place it. Ah, oh, man. Oh, geez, this sucks. Um. All right, there's nothing I can do with these guys. Um. I'm gonna put down the first pavilion then, I guess. Okay. So, neat little pavilions. And the pavilions can go on the rocks. So, we've got two spots for pavilions. Now, you wanna put decorations in the way because characters can go on the pavilions or on the other tiles here. So, let's see. I don't wanna put that there because the student would get all the green inside, and that's not a good idea. Um, let's put it here. Yeah. So your turn. So while Chloe's thinking, um, for people who don't know the rules that well, there's a set collection mechanic in the game as well. So whoever has the most pavilions gets coin for it. And the swan is a wild card that could go in a set of trees or in a set of flowers or in a set of animals or whatever you like. So gathering those get you coin at the end of the game, which is the same as victory points. happening in this turn yeah so my gamma didn't play out that well but it worked out well for Chloe because she got four waterfalls on here and the sword damage is gonna get two coins for each waterfall as long as she's looking in the correct direction which she is so yeah Chloe's gonna get eight coins for that at the end of the game so that's pretty powerful um, yeah the Tokens that are here are lanterns. Whenever you flip those, you get to do a special ability. 
Um, in this case, she was able to put two tiles instead of one tile, but she burned her lantern for it. Um, getting lanterns back are done by collecting these landscape tokens that are around the board. Anyways, um, I should probably do a turn. Um, well... Oh yeah, and the lady comes into play. Which is not good news for me either, because the Empress doesn't like her because she's cheating on her husband with... or something. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing? Um, I'm gonna go decoration. And flip these first so Chloe can start thinking about what she wants to do. And a temple came out. Temples are bad news for Bob right now. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna grab... Um, a peony. And these go back. And this peony specifically gets me a blue advancement. So I also get a character for which I'm just going to take the token. I might use it, but I don't know yet. But I'm going to resolve this first. I also get two coins for putting a flower down. Because that's what the Empress does for me. So that's some two extra coins. I do have to put a peony on the map. Because if I can't place it, um, it's going to lead to issues. But... Let's see. Um, oops. I'm gonna put the peony right there. And um, then finally, yeah, I am gonna use. I'm, I am gonna grab a new character. And I'm gonna activate my lantern for it, which allows me to take any character I want. And that character is going to be the officer. Which I really like. <laughs> I think I've picked them three games in a row now. Um, and the Empress is going to look that way. The only thing I need to make sure is that no lady or uh, emperor goes in this line. Um, and she should net me a good amount of points. Um, so yeah, that was my turn. All I need is the token or the mini for the officer. And we're good. Alrighty. Okay, I need to do something about these waterfalls, apparently. Well, it's maxed out. Is it? Yeah, it's five. There's no... Because she can only get ten coins. Ah, yeah, it's maxed out. Well, that's great. Oh, wait. No, it's not. No, I don't think they max out. It's only no, the... No, they don't max yeah, out. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. But there's no water... Oh, there is a waterfall here. God! Well, I just need to make sure something else goes here, but... Yeah. And I probably need to do that this turn, because there's a lot of ways for Chloe to... So this is not good news at all. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now the beauty is with the officer for no charge at all, I can just remove one face up um, tile and then flip the next one. So, let's see, I wanna... Yeah, I wanna get rid of this guy here. So this guy goes at the bottom and then I get to flip this one. And that's my officer's ability. And... <laughs> oh, man. Um... <laughs> Did I pick up the landscape token for this guy? I didn't, did I? I don't know. Uh, how many, let's yeah. see how many are missing. Oh yeah, because they've all been... Yeah, you got yeah. two, I yeah. got two. Yeah. There's one missing, isn't there? Yeah, okay, so go... I mean. Yeah, so I can just pick one up, so let's fix that, I'm sure. Yeah, that's fine. Somebody watching online might have seen it already. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab... Well, it doesn't really matter that much. I'm gonna grab this guy. And that allows me to put in dragon here so that makes it at least a little bit harder for you and then um so that was this thing so i still have my turn to pick up this thing here 
and that gives me two advancements on the blue one. And um, yeah, that was my turn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go for decorations. All right. right. Maybe do I want to? Do I not want to? I don't know. Actually, no. I'll just lay the temple down. So I close off the green, and I get two points. Two coins. Coin. Yep. I get one of these little guys. Um, I feel like you're gonna go after that. So. Oh, you're gonna block everything now. Wait. <laughs> Actually, yeah, because you burned yours. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, um... Mm -hmm. Oh, flip. Uh, yeah, because you did what? Well, there are three. Oh yeah, there are three. Yeah, yeah sorry. Um... Yeah. Yeah, it's really funny in our last games the site references really didn't make much difference and now <laughs> it's all about them. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna play a Simeon Temple, I think. Yeah. And that goes here and that gives me one coin for the temple, one coin for connecting to a rock. The paths unfortunately don't give you anything with temples, but I do get the advancement for the enclosure. It's not that great, but it's a move. Okay. Sure, somebody watching on home is just like, Jesus Christ, man, why don't you see? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a decoration. Mm. And I'm exchanging my five coin. down some birds and get a green advancement and I have not been taking the coins. Oh god. Or no, I think I have. But I don't know. I may have missed one or two. Yeah, it's a lot of I'm really bad with that. It's very different to play a game and record stuff. Like uh, it takes a lot of cognition. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, oh, and I get two points for reaching the two points. Yeah, cool beans. Um Yeah, I did decoration. Oh, you did de decoration. That's cool. Um, yeah, but I'm going to use my ability of the officer and flip the tower tile one more. That's not really helpful. Um, okay. Um, gotta pull something crazy out of my hat. <laughs> let's see here, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, I think I got something. Nope, I don't. Or do I? Nope. <laughs> Dang. Would have been so nice. <laughs> um. Oh, good for you. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think it's possible what I'm trying to pull off. So, um, okay. Okay. Um, well, let me put, oh, no, it doesn't fit there. Dang it. Well, and there's nothing good you can do. I'll just pick up my three coin. Oh, and a green. Mm. Wait, no, that's not a coin. So it's two coin and a green. Mm. So that's 
one and then a coin, right? Yeah. We're going next to the table. a willow and a wisteria. So, let's see. You go down here, and you are going to go on the weirdest freaking spot I can possibly put you in. <laughs> I think this is pretty weird. Okay, I'll do decoration. Alright, double decoration. Alrighty. Oh, pavilion comes in. Um, so now we're tied at pavilion, so that means instead of the one with the most pavilions, we get 12. The second place would get 6, so when you tie, it's 9 each. So there we go. And I get a landscape. Nino. Thing. A landscape. which gives me a character. Now, um, mm. I'm gonna refresh, so I'm gonna use four of the same type to refresh. Um, I'll just put them down here. And um, I'm gonna refresh this style. <laughs> Flu. Um, and I get to pick my character. And I am going to go grab... Um, The, what am I getting, Chloe? You're getting the architect. I am getting the architect. There you go. <laughs> Flipping it again. And architect. Now the bigger question is where am I going to put the architect? Now it looks like somebody has been building up a nice little spot of greenery where a student might go. So that is very interesting to me right now. Um, and honestly, like... I don't think there's necessarily a better spot right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go there. Ooh, we get to do the magnets. Nice. <laughs> yeah, magnets. <laughs> Sweet. I'm happy with that turn. That's a good one. Oh, 
I'm going to go to the bank for exchanging some cash and I'm picking up my first dinner. coins at the end of the game. I wonder if somebody at home is just like, oh god, stop mentioning the rules, man. <laughs> mm. I am going to put the thing. Is it going to be a monk? Or a merchant? No, no, it's not the merchant. It's going to be a hermit. A hermit? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, that moment when you look at the map and you're like, Yep, right there, hermit time. Oh god, no. <laughs> that sucks, and there's still so much room to build here. Oh. So the hermit is going to get her coin for every rock that she sees, not counting the temples, but she already is going to get one, two, three. And she can get a four and a five in here, she maxes out the Hermit, so it's a great play. Might actually be stronger than the Architect at this point. We'll find out soon enough. Um, Alright, let's see here, let's see here. Um, I just need a good play here. Yeah, that could be a solid play. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna double. And I'm gonna bring in um wait, I'm gonna bring in this guy first. Down here, which is gonna give me two coin. Pick up this landscape token, because that's where that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Close it off, get a two advancement on blue, which also gives me two coin. So that's the move, but now I have the landscape token, which I'm gonna use to put this guy down. Because um, that's another tile for the architect. And the architect gets three coin per token. So my architect is looking pretty, pretty good right now. <laughs> Uh, one, green. one green, one coin. I get the advancement for the green. Ah, yes, you're right. And I am going to. No. Oh, yeah, so I get to lay this down. Um, yeah, I'll lay that off. Ah. Well, I mean, duh. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> chances of the other one coming out are. Although I could try to bump this one because this also would allow me to take a landscape yeah. tile if I wanted to. Okay. Um, so I think it's important to point out now, if either of us picks up a landscape token, which could easily happen here or there, the game ends and we count the score. Do you know who's winning? So in that case... <laughs> you want to end it? No, I don't want to end it. I'm going to refresh. Ah, uh, yeah. And I'm going to do the double and get this so, guy right here. Uh, Another yep. coin. Alright, I'll put these with the rest here. Because that's also relevant, because if we tie for some reason, and it could totally happen, these are a tiebreaker, and now we have two each. But I don't think we're going to pick up yeah, the other ones, because that would end the game. Yeah. And we have to be really, really sure that we're in the lead right now. 
Now, since I'm the first player, Chloe still gets a turn after if I would end it, so. Um, there's nothing you can do with that. It would be really hard pressed for you to pick up another character. I'm kind of. We're kind of tight there. I'm actually a little bit ahead. Okay. Did you flip me and put that one? No. Actually, I'm going to use my officer ability to see if I can get something good somewhere. Um, I don't think we have had to solve it, but I don't really want that one. Hmm, maybe I should just end it and see what you can do. What kind of madness you can get me into. You know what, I think this is a good play. Okay. I'm not going to end it yet. Okay. But I can put this here. Okay. Um, that doesn't get me any coin, but it does get me a blue. Because yeah. I'm closing off a blue. It gets me... Two rock. Two rock. And it gets me two coin. I mean, that's a solid play. Yeah. I'm going to change this for five. Alrighty. I'm going to do a decoration. Alright. So at this point, I'm not sure, but I, I think I might still be in the lead, but I don't want to end the game because I'm worried that in the extra turn that she gets, she's going to pull something crazy out of her hat. She still has a lantern for double decoration, for example. So I want to make sure that I try to maximize my advantage at this point rather than end the game. I mean, I don't know if that's a smart play to make here because I mean, I might not even be in the lead because she's got two really good side preferences, but I think my side preferences are good too. Mm. So we'll see. Um, decoration, right? So flip. Oh, it's just yours. Yeah, no, just making sure. Um, all right. Um, gonna grab this guy here. Double green it. It's also two coin. And, um, yeah. Alright, well, I have to end it. Yeah, I think you have to. Because you don't want me to get another character. That would, nope. <laughs> that would be really strong. Um, what are they doing? Oh, I mean, it's just laying down whatever. The dragon. This would have been a nice place for the yeah. emperor to be. Yeah. I was eyeing it, honestly. Like, yeah. I was trying to make that my final move. Yeah. Alright, so that ends the game. Um, so now we're going to count our scores. Chloe likes to count them. I actually have printed the scoring sheet uh, from Board Game Geek, which is really great. And I like to use that inst instead of just counting. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm also, before I actually end it, I'm going to flip my... Yeah, yeah, you, you should totally do that. I'm going to move there. Yep, you should totally do that. Alright, so you count your cash in hands. I'm just gonna do mine out loud in case people are trying to follow along. So I got 15, 18 here in coin in hand. Then for the trees, you can get one tree is one, two trees is four, three trees is nine, but they have different trees, so that's the second collection. So I got these will be worth four. So that puts my total score 18 plus four should be 22. <laughs> Then the swan is a wild card. I could add it to the tree to go to nine, uh, but that's five points extra. But um, adding it as a wild card to the flowers will give me six coin. So that puts me at 28 in total. Pavilions, we're tied on pavilions, so that means nine each. So that puts me at 37. So then side preferences. So the officer's side preference doesn't count, um, but the empress counts. And she gets nine coin, but you have to... with. Um, Subtract three if the lady or the emperor is in the line of sight, which is literally the squares in front of you. So that's not the case. Um, so she gets nine plus one for each decoration. So that's one, two, three, four. So that would be 13. And that puts me at 50. And in character two, the architect has two decorations. So that's worth two. And then I have one, two, three, four um, villages or whatever. So that's worth 12 plus two. 
um, that's a 14. So I am at 64 and Chloe ends at 60. So that's our game of Tank Garden, a four point difference. Um, you know, if you've not played this game, I really recommend it. It's, it's super cool. Um, and um, yeah, as you can tell, if you know what you're doing, it gets really, it's balanced really well. It gets really tight and you won't know who wins until you actually start counting. Um, so it's, it's pretty neat. So yeah, any final words? No. Just like, damn you, Bob. <laughs> All right, cool beans.